I'm going to just run down how to do the chapter number. Um, I have the document open. So the assignment asks you to open up internetchapters.docx. So here is the document. And then what it asks you to do is insert a section break that begins a new page at the beginning of online content and the beginning of the title e-commerce. So um, I'm assuming you've already done that. And so what we're going to do is I'll just go ahead and do that. Oops, sorry. So it wants a section break in the beginning of the title online content. So we're going to go to online content, put our cursor there, go to layout, then breaks. Uh, we're going to section break, go to the next page. We're going to do that on e-commerce as well. So we're going to go breaks, next page. So now we have these broken up. The These items here are designated as heading one. And so what you'll want to do to create the chapter numbers, we do the multi-level list. And that's what this is asking for here. So apply chapter multi-level list numbering. What you do is you put your cursor just before the N in navigating. And then we go up to the multi-level list button, which is right here. Under the Home tab in Paragraph, click that button, and then there's an item here that shows Chapter. You can see this is Chapter, Heading, Heading 1, Heading 2. So it's going to put the word Chapter and then the Chapter Number next to anything that has a Heading 1 or Heading 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So if I click that, the system automatically puts Chapter 1 in front of that one because that is a item that is marked with a Heading 1. And then you notice online content now has chapter two. And e-commerce has chapter three. So I hope this helped. And then after this, um, you're going to be doing a lot of page numbering, headers and footers. Um, pretty easy. Well, I'd like to say easy, but the, the page numbering gets a little difficult because they want you to alternate it and have the page numbers go with the chapters. But just remember, when you're doing the page numbering, at the bottom, we'll do a page number, bottom of the page, and we'll do plane number three. Easiest thing to do is double click on it and highlight it, and eventually it'll uh, allow me to. Do what I want to do, but you want to go to Format Page Numbers, and we want to include the chapter number. We want this to start at 1, and then magically it puts Chapter 1, 1, down at the bottom, 1, 2. And then it goes to page 3 because we haven't told it what chapter it is. But anyways, that gives you a little bit of a jump start on the next item on that. Feel free to give me a holler if you have any other questions. Take care.